Okay, so you got somebody who got rejected by another person. And they tried to create a whole bunch of drama, a whole bunch of chaos for you. Because it's like whoever the person is that rejected them, this is somebody that you were interested in. So this could be someone that you kind of distance yourself from, like a family member or a friend. Definitely like a close soulmate. Um, This could be a karmic soulmate. But this person got upset and it's like they did it before you like pulled your energy back. So this is someone who was smiling in your face and they felt like they had to one up you behind the scenes. It's like they were secretly in competition with you, but they didn't want you to know. And it's like once they got rejected, this person like hated you or they started to show like you could see this person for who they truly are. And you kind of like distance yourself. You pulled your energy all the way back. And this is what made them more furious, upset, angry. And it's like this is the type of person that would be upset and mad at you and you don't know why that person is pissed. Somebody thought that they were one up in you and they ran right into karma. This is someone who does not take rejection well. Yeah, this is the one that just ain't S-H-I-T. This is someone who has some type of tactic. They strategized um, this plan out. This is the type of person that would develop fake pages, fake accounts. So they could have tried to, um, they could be trying to follow you under some type of fake account or fake page. Or this could be the person that um, they knew that you were interested in. And I'm getting this like, this is how you ended up finding out something about this person. So it's like before you distance yourself from this person, um, they were behind the scenes doing this, like trying to one up you because they knew that you were interested in someone. But it immediately backfired. That person wasn't interested in them the way that they were interested in this person. So their plan like failed. But something came out about them that you did not know. This could be someone who uses magic or they're like a divination abuser. Yeah, something definitely came out about this person and you sent some type of proof. This could be a message to someone else and they seen it. Yeah, they seen it. And they felt like you're unfazed. Yeah, this person felt like you were unfazed. You were ups um, They were upset and you're unfazed. Nothing has worked out for them and um, you're not bothered. You're unfazed by yourself. So this person reported something to child services. This is how pissed off this person was because they got rejected and they could not one up you, smile in your face, stab you in the back. Yeah, this person reported something to child services. They made it seem like you, as if you were neglecting a child or children or you were abusive to your kids. Especially when they found out that you knew some type of hidden knowledge about them. And you told it to someone else. Yeah. This is someone who definitely wanted to make. Okay, so this person could have reported to child services that you were someone that was off into like magic and different things like that. Like dark magic. Or you were a divination abuser. Yeah. I'm getting this backfired. Oh, wow. This, 
this person made it seem as if you're someone that's always partying. You go out a lot. You don't pay attention to your kids. Oh, wow. And it's steam. It's like all of this was over. Whoever the person is that's interested that you were interested in. This is that person is interested in you, too. But this was a hater. It's like they didn't want you to be happy. So they felt like they were behind the scenes destroying your life. I'm also getting whoever this person is. They could be someone that party a lot. Then you have dirty offer here. Yeah, somebody is holding a grudge because they could not like get that person to sleep with them. And this could definitely be an STD with dirty offer. Like somebody has some type of STD. Yeah, somebody thought that they were destroying your life and you would never be able to figure it out because you like put your energy back and they felt left out. I just seen the three of cups and the five of pentacles. This could have definitely been like a close friend. It's like when you walked away, they felt left out in the cold. But before you walked away from this person, they had this plan played out. They had already tried to um, push up on this person. They could have definitely said something to this person that was not true about you to get this person to not look at you the way that they look at you or be interested in you. Yeah, this was a fake friend. You got the three of cups popping out in the reverse. This is someone who does not like when you take out the time to um, have personal space for yourself. You isolate. This could have been a friendship that was just overbearing. This was somebody that you just did not need in your life. Maybe they wanted you to feel like you needed them. And they sensed that you were pulling your energy back. So they, they were trying to like one up you. Create a whole bunch of drama and confusion. This person is also upset because of your wealth. Like you're someone that could be secure or you're someone that helps out a lot of people. Like people come to you for help. You're definitely someone that can provide for yourself and your loved ones with the Ten of Pentacles. This person thought that they were going to be able to like set you up, steal from you, rob from you. This could be take some type of inheritance. This could be someone who tried to... um do something in your name, like some type of fraudulent or fraud. They try to do something fraudulent or something like that. Yeah. They feel like none of this got to you. With the three of swords popping out in the reverse. They couldn't do anything to break you. Or make you feel hopeless. You're someone that don't dwell on the past or you don't dwell on um, challenges, obstacles. You try to figure out the best solution to keep moving forward. Yeah. And I'm getting you in an isolation because you were neglecting yourself. It's like you needed to find yourself. You could have been given too much time to other people. Whoever the people are that you withdrew from with the four cups being here, it was time that you stopped neglecting yourself and nurture on your own needs, not what everybody else need or they needed. It was time for you to reconnect with your um, intuition. Your inner voice. 
Man, because these are people that were definitely trying to have you like stuck, chained, bound to them. These were karmic soulmates. Or this person was a karmic soulmate. And if this is someone that's off into like dark magic, they could have did something to keep you stuck to them. And you didn't know. Yeah. It's like once you find out who that person truly was, you pulled your energy all the way back. And it's like at this time, they didn't know you were finding out things about them that nobody else knew. That you didn't think that you would find out about them. And they didn't expect for you to find out what they were doing behind the scenes to create blockages and drama to stop you from being able to start a new beginning, to start over in life, or just manifest whatever it is that you want out of life. This is someone who felt like you were manifesting a connection, a relationship, and they would have the power to stop it. Yeah, this is like a destined partnership. This could be why they're going through a lot of karma. Or why this instantly backfired? Because if something is like destined to take place at a certain time and there's people trying to create blockages, that karma comes back 10 times over. Yeah, this is definitely a destined partnership. This person also felt like you were hiding something. It's like this person was too invested into what you had going on versus their own life. This is crazy. They feel like you're someone that's successful. You work hard. Whatever it is that you were doing, this could. they also view you as someone that's very smart, intelligent. So whatever it is that you were working on, they knew it was going to prosper, but they hated it. The thought of you building financial stability by yourself. It hurt that person's ego. You know, somebody is reaping what they sow, what they have sown. You could also be someone that is um, like very in tune. You could be a reader. You could read tarot or you're just someone that's very in tune. You're spiritually gifted. A lot of things are shown to you. I'm here and ask and you shall receive. So if it's anything that you want to know about a person, you don't, if you're someone that's a reader, you don't always get the message through cards. You could get it in other ways. This could be through dreams and different things like that. Visions. Yeah, you have a number of spiritual gifts. And somebody just did not expect for you to find out what they did to you. Out of hate, out of jealousy. And they didn't expect for you to find out who they truly were. Yeah. You could have found out this person trapped somebody else. Like this could be someone who's in a karmic relationship with somebody that you know. And you found out, you could have been wondering like, why is it, you know, what made them fall for that person? Why are they attached to that person? And you found out what that person did. To keep that person chained, stuck, bound to them. Yeah, and they never expected for you to find out, but it's like they were playing in your energy and they didn't know how in tune you are. Like somebody showed their true colors and this was like right at the time where you were isolating 
you were removing yourself. Um, you were in this four of cups. Just withdrawing from other people that did not inspire you. People that you felt bored around. People that you felt like were not on the same page as you. They're not interested in the same things that you're, you're in or you're interested in. Yeah, snake. This is definitely a hidden enemy. A karmic partner. Somebody thought they were going to manipulate whoever this person is that you have this destined partnership with. Um, with some type of lies about you that were not true. This person stooped low as to reporting some type of false reports to child services about you that were not true. This could have resulted in some type of legal situation. This person felt like if they could not keep you stuck physically, they were going to watch you be stuck. Eight of Swords. Yeah. But it's like it may have appeared that whatever they did had you stuck. Because it's like you're not stuck. This person is realizing that they're stuck because they've watched you move on. Yeah. And they feel like you're doing something successful. The changes that you have made or the changes they felt like they were going to create to have you at a stalemate. It has caused a drastic change that they did not expect for you. It's like they've watched your growth. And it's like right after this happened, this person definitely could have reached out to you, tried to communicate with you to make it seem, hey, I heard what happened. But this is someone who was reaching out to see if you had broke, if they had broke your heart. Yeah. This is sad. It's like whoever this person is, this is someone that's very cold hearted. Um. And they've watched justice be served. So whatever this was, this was definitely an injustice legal matter that got balanced out or will be balanced out. Whoever was investigating this legal matter, like whoever they reported this to, they found out that person was lying with mass being here. It's like they found the hidden motive about why this person did what they did. Whoever they reported this to, they could have started researching you, researching that person. And when they started watching you, they felt like you're someone that was healing, focusing on yourself. They could have found out about this secret admirer, secret crush, somebody that you're attracted to, or this person that this karmic soulmate tried to one-up you with behind the scenes. Yeah, they definitely found out about somebody that, uh, that you broke up with. So, yeah, it's like somebody, this is sad. This is sad. And it's like if this person was trying to do something fraudulent in your name to like steal from you, get money in your name, they could be going to jail. Somebody could be going to jail for fraud. It's like they thought that they manifested an injustice legal matter in your life. This person has manifested a legal matter in their life that they're not going to see coming. Yeah. This is somebody who played their self thinking that they, you know, were defeating you or playing you. Yep. And it's like they're not going to be as strong as you are. It's like they're not going to be able to handle the situation the way you handled this. Because it's going to be 10 times worse than what they thought they were doing to you. Yeah. 
None of this worked. Everything that they did in the past is backfiring. You have the Six of Cups and then the Eight of Pentacles popping out in the reverse. Yeah, this is a tower that they're not going to see coming. And I'm pretty sure whenever this took place, and this may not resonate with everybody, but whenever this took place, whatever this person did behind the scenes to create confusion, drama, chaos in your life, you didn't see it coming. Because you weren't around anyone. Your main focus was you. And giving to yourself, healing yourself, loving yourself more. Yeah, this is somebody who could not confuse you because it's like as soon as as soon as this happened, it's like you instantly knew where it was coming from, why it was, you know, happening. I'm also getting this confusion did not change who you are as a person. If this was supposed to hurt you, it didn't stop you from healing. It didn't stop you from being the compassionate person that you are. It didn't stop you from having unconditional love for people, for yourself. And it's like it made whoever the person is that you have this destined partnership with admired. It's like it made them more admired or something like that. Or they're admiring you. Yeah. They view you as this empress. Yeah, and they see why you've walked away from things that no longer serve purpose in um your life. This could be someone that you've inspired and now they're walking away from things that don't serve purpose in their life. This is someone who has matured and they're seeing the bigger picture. It's like you've given that person a lot of strength, a lot of courage. This is someone that is proud of you. And it's like whoever this person is that thought that they were one up in you, they were trying to get money out of um the person that they felt like you were interested in. They felt like they were one up you and they would get this person, you know, right where they want this person. Eight of swords, have this person stuck on them. Ace of cups, eight of swords. And this person would provide for them. Because this is someone who is codependent. They don't have their own stability as the nine of pentacles popped out in the reverse. And this could be why you kind of walked away from this friendship or this connection that you had with that person. This could be someone who parties a lot. You could be someone who doesn't. So you kind of withdraw quick from whoever this person is. It's like you and that person don't share the same, you know, values or same goals, the same vision about life. And this is why you walked away. Yeah. But yeah, somebody thought that they were going to have whoever this person is that you and that person share a magnetic attraction. It's like you're not just interested in that person. They're interested in you. But somebody thought they were going to have this person stuck on them. And it backfired. Everything that they tried to do after they got rejected, it backfired. Yeah. Now somebody could be definitely going to jail. Oh. Yeah, for doing some type of work. It's like this person was paid to do something for somebody. 
And if this wasn't somebody that you know, this could just be somebody that rejected this person that you share this, this destined partnership with. So you have to take it where it resonates. But this person, if this is someone you don't know, that person knew about you and you just didn't know about them. But this person paid somebody. It's like they, they had somebody working for them. And now that person is caught up in some type of situation, like a legal situation. Yeah, because of this main female. Whoever this main male is, this person is going um, like to jail because they were working with this person. Yeah, a family member of theirs. This is someone that's like a brother or a, this could be a sibling or just a close family member. That they were like paying to help them. This could have been to intentionally cause harm to another person. Yeah, and somebody was working hard. Yeah, while this main female, they were sitting back waiting for the job to get done. This could be someone that was watching another person's home. They're sitting back waiting for another person's demise. Both of these people could be going to jail. I'm so done. Yeah. Because somebody was needy and codependent to another person. This could be the person that rejected them. Especially if they view this person as someone that did not have much to offer. The Nine of Pentacles could be someone that is also... You know, a person that sleeps around. This could be a, a gold digger or a gigolo. Take it where it resonates, but it's like they felt like this person did not have much to offer them. So they kind of rejected whatever this person was offering them and they got pissed. Tried to create some type of tower in your life. Yeah. This is someone who felt like they were going to stand by and just watch a lot go down. And as I said, they wanted this person to be stuck on them. If they could get that person to be stuck on them in love with them, they would be able to get whatever they could out of this person. This was definitely a karmic soulmate who was out for revenge when you expose some type of spell work or magic with divination abuser. It's like this person is, you know, they're in tune spiritually, but they use the knowledge that they have in a negative way to manipulate and trick people. Yeah, they felt like you exposed them and then you just started focusing on yourself. How dare you? And they thought, okay, let's start some drama or create some negativity in this person's life because they could not move forward. But they need to move on. Yeah. And if they knew how this person felt about you, yeah, this made them jealous. This was definitely a karmic soulmate. This person was off into dark magic. This is an energy vampire. And they were secretly competing. Somebody thought they had the power to block your blessings. And they were doing all of this behind the scenes. And if this person was throwing some type of magic at you, this backfired because it's like not only did you heal from whatever it is that you walked away from. You've healed from this. Whatever they did behind the scenes to create confusion and chaos in your life. They didn't expect for you to um, move on from this. Like somebody wanted you to be seen as someone that was off into dark magic. You're a divination abuser. You're someone that does not take care of your kids. You're someone that's always partying. And it's like, if this stuff came out about you, people could have been wondering, like, where did this come from? Or they just instantly knew that it was a lie. They wanted to know who did you upset? Who did you make mad? They could have felt like it was the people that you walked away from or a certain person you walked away from. Who did this? But this is somebody that simply got rejected. They were pressed because however that person, however you view this person, they view you the same way. And if they felt like they had this person stuck on them in the past, 
they were no longer stuck or interested in this person. Yeah, so this could have been a family member or a friend that you walked away from that tried to one up you. Or this could have definitely been somebody that you don't know, but they know you. And they got upset because this person rejected them. Now, whoever this person is, they still think about you. They feel like you have an amazing laugh. This is someone who loves your laugh. So they could be watching you or they're reminiscing about different encounters that you have had in the past with them. Now, this is someone who have been secretly admiring you, but they don't, they never express this to you. It's like they've been hiding it with I'm done pretending. So this is someone who does not want to hide their emotions anymore. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who feels like you're enjoying life. This person trusts you. And they still care about you. So this, if this is someone that you have not heard from, this is someone who still think about you. They still care about you. They're still focused on you. They're wondering, is there a second chance? This is someone who definitely wants to talk to you. I'm getting whoever this person is. It's like they didn't know that this person was doing all of this behind the scenes after they got rejected. They could have found out like later. Because this was a secret. It's like somebody wanted your your kids to be taken. This this card, this child services card says um, kids at risk of being taken or about to reporting something, neglect or abuse. So it's like. This person thought that they were going to get your kids taken from you and they were going to create your demise, like get you out of the picture to punish this person for rejecting them, but also punish you for speaking the truth because they feel like you're the reason why this person rejected them. Yeah, they were confused. When this took place, they were confused. They didn't understand what was going on. Yeah. And it's like they felt like since they were being rejected, you and that person were getting ready to come in union. So this is someone who knows that this person is your twin. So this is definitely someone who felt like they had to one up you and this person. They were they had some type of authority over you and that person's union with divination abuser. This was a third party that was trying to create confusion. Yeah, maybe this person felt like they would be able to walk in your destiny. Start a new chapter. Off of your energy. Yeah. And they definitely felt like your twin would be afraid to come toward you because all of this gossip is going on. Um, people are talking about you being a divination abuser or you're someone that is off into dark magic and different things like that. This was supposed to fear them from coming toward you. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely supposed to have this person indecisive not being able to make their own decision. Looks like somebody was working hard. Yeah, and it's like their plan still backfired. This is crazy. They're in regret because they did not expect this outcome. Now they're wishing that they wouldn't have did what they did. They're wishing that this never happened because somebody is going to jail. Somebody had took something too far. Thinking that they have control over another person's destiny. 
their future. It's like somebody had them in plan with something they know nothing about and they've geeked their self up. Not realizing that they're keeping their self stuck. Yeah, somebody thought they won up you in a major way and this backfired. Now they're in disbelief. They cannot believe things did not go how they thought they, you know, were going to go. Yeah, they wanted this person to reject you. Because they got rejected. So they wanted you to feel the way that they felt. And if this person could have ghosted you, you didn't feel rejected. Because you were too busy focusing on yourself. You were too busy focusing on um, some type of healing phase. It's like you were doing something behind the scenes. Something for your greater good. Okay, so this card says, don't lose sight of this truth. You came here to evolve and grow, so it is necessary to experience the difficult times. That's when you will grow the most. There is always light at the end of every dark tunnel. So if this person thought that they had them placed you in some type of difficult time, a difficult situation in life, and you would not be able to move forward, they've sat back and watched you evolve and they've watched you grow. This is someone who was a test. They were testing you, testing your strength. And they didn't expect for you to be as strong as you are. Now they feel defeated. Because they thought they were playing in your energy, but they were playing in their own. This is someone who have drained their self, thinking that they were going to drain you of your energy. Yeah, and it's like what's meant for you is meant for you. It cannot be taken away. Whether it happened at that time or at a later time, this is what they're learning and this is why they're in regret and wishing that this never happened. 